Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of March in my plum paper daily planner. I did a flip through of January. I skipped February because I wasn't as active about writing in it and there were a lot of like half finished things in February but March I did a really good job on sticking to the daily every day. Um, I'll try to link January's flip through if you're interested in that and if you're interested in seeing February I can also do a video for that. I'm just like a little embarrassed that I didn't write on every day but you know it's a planner that happens sometimes uh, but we're gonna do March today because March is over it is April now and I am ready to flip through some spreads I'm filming this in advance it's probably gonna go up mid-April so this video is like beginning of April I just finished March so March in my plum paper planner is purple so the divider is purple this is a plum paper 7 by 9 disc bound daily and it is my favorite daily planner did not really do much on the goal setting front this month though. I have it combined with some printable Moxie Life inserts and this is like the monthly goals overview. I used Paper Ravenco stickers for the decorative stuff and then I just didn't fill it in. There were like a few things that I wanted to do but I didn't do any of them. That's great. Um, so this is what March goals kind of looks like. Then I used the back side of that and just like the scratch paper to do these kind of like planning lists. So I'm showing you everything that's in the daily. Um, that's just kind of the way it is. Like over here we've got some content that I wanted to schedule while I was on my way to DC to meet up with some friends who were going to go wild. This was just like me kind of like making sure everything was scheduled on like the various platforms that things get posted on. And then this is like my pre-trip panic list of like Oh no, this is all the stuff I need to do in the next 24 hours. Called it my pre-DC brain dump, but it's a panic list. That is what it is. Um, I just started by writing everything out, and then I used Zig Clean Color Dot Markers to, like, mark, okay, this is stuff I could do before bed, this is stuff I can do in the morning, this is stuff that I can do in the airport or on the plane. And then I, like, categorized them out a little bit more, like, Etsy-related tasks and travel-related re tasks, and then crossed stuff out. Um, I think I did more than like, well, some things got crossed off because I was like, okay, I don't need to deal with this right now. Like the post office, my boyfriend ended up, ended up taking stuff to the post office for me. Um, a lot of things got checked off, but this is what we've got for the panic list. Didn't end up using my monthly in this planner this month. I'll typically use it to write in work shifts or something like that, but I don't always use this because I have most of that stuff in my catch-all planner, so I just didn't use the monthly this time around. And then the first set of dailies I did as a YouTube video, I love these ones. Um, so Paper Raven Co. for the flowers. The quote stickers are from Alicia Michelle XO. I don't know, I don't think her shop is up anymore. Um, and then the sticker doll is Red Lyrics. I will try my best to just identify where all the different stickers are from. I'm not going to be linking them because there's so many different things going on in this planner. Um, but if you have questions about a specific set of stickers, feel free to leave a comment and I will try my best to get back to you on that. So fun, sunshiny daisies or fun, sunshiny dailies, not daily, daisies, dailies uh, for the first spread of DC. And then I did this one using... Florals from Planning Press combined with these cute ones from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. I used the other JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop DC stickers in my social media planner. And then I used the rest of them for this spread. I wanted to do something purple that would match the purple on the pages. The boxes are from the Mojo JoJo Plans DC sticker book. And all of these little header stickers that I use to like title stuff, those are according to Allie. You can use my code Caitlin10 to save 10% off at according to Allie. That's my affiliate code. My affiliate link is down below. Helps out the channel if you use your link or use my link while, while you're shopping. Um, but I like them just to kind of separate out all the different sections. So I thought this was fun. And then last day at like a planner or like a planner meetup, you know, with all my planner friends and then my uh, release for March. So I wanted to do like a school supplies theme for this. I used the school supplies theme from Create with Mandy and then I used the rest of my Alicia Michelle quotes over here. Uh, the watercolor is Create with Mandy as well. The boxes are from that Mojo Jojo Plans Go Wild book that I don't think is available anymore. But a fun kind of on topic spread for this one. I know it's like school themed, like this says teach on it, but I thought, you know, craft supplies, art supplies might be appropriate for this kind of like 
uh, this spread with like meeting with friends in DC and then my release. This one is using stickers from my March release. These are the Radiant Ranunculus sticker sheet that is already up in my Etsy shop because it was in March. I paired them with this Simply Gilded washi tape, a Red Lyrics doll, and then these stickers from the Happy Planner um, collab with Brandy Brown. It's Marabou Designs. It's the Marabou Designs sticker book. I love the little insects kind of clustered around the florals. I thought the color palette matched really well. It's nice and soft. It's like a pastel thing. So it was fun to do something kind of springy using those. Then while I was in DC, Jojo gifted me this copy of the Wrong Wrong collab with Plan On It, Michelle from Plan On It, which is the dog sticker book. And I wanted to do a daily spread using those. I made a reel for this half of it and then a YouTube video for this half. So there are YouTube videos on my channel if you want to see how some of these are made very functional spread, but I tried to stick in that kind of like maroon color palette for this one. I thought the maroon with the, according to Allie, spotty dotty washi tape, like the spotty dotty kind of gives me Dalmatian spots. So I have the Dalmatian in there. It's just a fun one. I used the header stickers out of that book to do the headers for most of it. And then where I didn't have like specific headers like film and post because the dog theme sticker book didn't have those. The according to Allie, shop does but they didn't have them in the dog book so I just wrote them in myself. This is another one using stickers from my March release. I don't think I posted this one on my Instagram. There are spreads in here I just didn't post because I just ran out of time or I have a lot of stuff going on but this is another one using stickers from my own shop. This is the garden variety sticker sheet on paper. Um, I paired them with these quotes from Planning Press because I had them left over from a different daily spread that I did in February and I wanted to use these quotes. I paired them with a brown Zig Clean Color Dot Marker and some fun washi tape that I've had in my stash for a while. I believe this one is from Michael's from like a really long time ago. The green tones worked well with all the vegetables, so I thought we'll just add in a little bit of washi tape with this one. Then after that, I did some like St. Patrick's Day themed dailies. These aren't completely filled in, but again, I'm showing you what the planner looks like. I'm not trying to go back and back plan. I'm going to show you how this actually turned out. Um, these are the Lucky Blooms from According to Allie. I really like the four leaf clovers integrated into those floral clusters. I've tried to pull out the purple tones by using some purple boxes out of that Mojo Jojo plans book. I felt like it was a really good box sticker book to use this month because the pages are purple and the colors of these matched really well. I paired it with that same green washi tape, but I layered a simply gilded one on top of it to bring out the yellow tones and the daffodils. I think the yellow washi tape was a bit of a mistake for this one, but you live and you learn. The quotes are according to Allie, they're lucky quotes, red lyrics, sticker doll over here. I get most, if not all, of my sticker dolls from Red Lyrics. I really like the variety of dolls that they have. They're not too expensive. They are always running sales. So I use them a lot in my planner, and they come four to a sheet. So you get a lot of use out of them. So this is a St. Patrick's Day one. Another St. Patrick's Day one that I hated when I finished making it on video, and then I actually really liked when I filled it in, but I never posted this one either. Um, I paired this according to Allie alcohol ink. I believe it's the sunny alcohol alcohol ink with some Happy Planner stickers out of Yay Seasons. And I thought it felt a little bit like the clusters were on fire because the alcohol ink is just giving a little bit like of a flame flame vibe to it. Um, but once I wrote in it, I felt like it kind of calmed down a bit. So there's that spread. Um, it didn't completely fill out this one. It is the like actual St. Patrick's Day spread. I used the seasonal type sticker book. It's a teacher one from Happy Planner, Red Lyrics sticker doll, some fun washi tape. This one is like a script one that I got off of um, Amazon. Didn't fill this one out completely, but I, I like the spread. I just wish I had filled it out. For this one, I used stickers from Simply Gilded, which I had not used their stickers before, but they had some really cute St. Patrick's Day ones, and they came in just in time for me to like wrap out or wrap up the week with them. The Lucky Puppies. I got the washi tape set. It came with three washi tapes. One of them has the puppies on it, so I didn't combine the puppy stickers with the puppy washi tape. I used the four leaf clovers with the bones and then the little four leaf clovers to like layer those together. 
The florals are from the Teeny Florals Happy Planner sticker book. Same with the quotes and like these ones up here. Um, and then I layered in some book scraps from Create with Mandy to do a really functional spread for this one because I just needed to get a lot of stuff done. So kind of categorized it all out, had some tinier clusters, and I think it's cute. Very like soft muted colors in this one, but I don't mind it. It's kind of different than the more bold St. Patrick's Day uh, spreads that I did right before this. This one isn't completely filled out either. I used the According to Allie 1950s sticker sheet for this. It's very fun retro shapes. I layered it with some quotes out of the Gentle Reminders big sticker pack from the Happy Planner. I don't exactly like how it layered over here. I wish I had not done that because you can't really read that, but it's fine. Um, and then I tried to pick out a Red Lyrics sticker doll that was wearing something a little bit more 1950s to go with the According to Allie stickers. So I didn't completely fill it out, but it, it was a fun one. I made this one late at night, so I I just kind of put some stickers on the page and went with it. Didn't share this one on social media either. So you're getting the behind the scenes and you're getting some never before seen content here on the channel. Um, this one is probably one of my favorites that I did in March and it's more of the Paper Raven Co. sticker book. I used some orange florals and butterflies and I wanted to use up some of my new Simply Gilded washi tapes. Um, the plus signs are actually from Simple Stories. It's a different brand. I got it off of a Cherry on Top Crafts that came in a set. But the like Dalmatian dot bows, those are from Simply Gilded, and I just got them, and I love them. Uh, so I wanted to do something that would match with that. So I did all of these orange florals. I brought in this red lyrics doll, who is just like happens to be holding an orange purse and wearing a polka dot top. I'm like, that's perfect. Um, the quotes are from my own sticker shop. They are the note to self quotes sheet. Paper Raven Co. header up there. I just thought this was like so fun. I don't use a lot of orange in my planner, so it was nice to be able to just get out of my comfort zone. And I think these giant clusters are just too cute. Then I wanted to plan with some circle stickers. I have a video for this one up on my channel. This is planning with a combination of Eau Claire's Creations circles. So they're like kind of... Um, like gridded out more solid colored ones paired with the Create with Mandy aesthetic collage circles like these ones right here. Uh, Create with Mandy butterfly florals. We've got that same Simple Stories washi layered over some grid washi that I got off of Amazon. Red Lyrics sticker doll over here according to Allie Alcohol Inc. There's a lot, a lot to take in on this one. Um, that one sticker is from the Paper Raven Co. book. So I wanted to do like a planning with circle stickers kind of walk through on my YouTube channel, kind of talking through my process when I'm planning with circle stickers. So I made this spread and then I filmed this half as like an Instagram reel. And I think it turned out really fun. I love all the uh, pink tones in this one and it actually works pretty well with the purple that's already on the pages because there is a little bit of purple in some of those circles. For this like next set of daily pages, I wanted to do like an unbox my happy planner spring order with me and then make three daily spreads with that video. And that did not materialize the way that I wanted it to. So I scrapped it. This first one, I did not like the way it turned out. Um, I used the new bright travels sticker book from the happy planner. It is a collab with I think it's, it's either Tanya or Tania Garcia. And I love the stickers out of the book. I really do. It's one of my favorite new releases, but I think I went a little too all in on it because I'm like, I'm going to use everything. I'm going to use all the patterns and all the different kinds of stickers and it just kind of feels cluttered. So I wrote in this, I did not share this. I scrapped that part of the daily video and I did like a redemption uh, spread in my catch all using stickers from this book, which I think turned out a lot better, but this is that spread. I know it's seeing the light of day. I, I wouldn't really share this otherwise, but here's kind of like a, a, a daily that I did not enjoy because I feel like I say I like them all, but this is one that I, I just did not like. Um, we've got this one that's using the new Spoonful of Faith sticker book. This one I managed to salvage from the like three part plan with me video. I was like, okay, we're going to cut out this section and then I'll do like the after the pen stuff and we'll make a video out of that. This one I really like. It's the According to Allie Twoll washi tape with a bunch of blue stickers out of the new Spoonful of Faith collab with the Happy Planner. This, this turned out a lot better. It's a little bit more of a busier, like 
functional spread, but I think that's what I needed for these days just to get some stuff done. I got a lot of stuff done on this Wednesday. Um, and then I don't think I checked anything off over here. I don't remember if I did stuff. Well, maybe I did stuff and I just kind of took the day off. But this is the Spoonful of Faith Daily. Fun to do like a monochromatic blue on this one. And then the last one, which was also part of that video and I ended up scrapping that part of the video, was this one using the Seasonal Whimsy sticker book from, a happy, from the Happy Planner. This one came together so fast. I think I used like five stickers in it. Um, or maybe a few more with like the functional stuff added in. But since these stickers are so big, it was easy just to put a few on the page and be like, okay, it's done. Um, I really like how this grid washi kind of matches up with all of the stickers that I pulled from that book. And then this kind of clashes with it. It is just like a list of things I needed to do for my March sticker release. I'm using all the scrap paper out of this planner just to like keep track of stuff. But it was like, which ones are going to be on paper and which ones are going to be on clear? And then which listings did I put live? I used the Erin Condren markers for here, like the stamping markers. And they bleed. Well, the green specifically bleeds a lot. I got them as a gift from a, a a planner friend of mine, Nerdy Panda Plans, Jen, while I was in DC, and I was so excited to use them, but the green is a little too pigmented for this paper. I'm sure it works on other paper. I used the Zigling Color Dot to do that, but Erin Condren stamping markers for that. Clashes with that, but it's okay. And then normally I would, well, I was trying to do like a weekly goal planning kind of thing in this planner with the Moxie Life inserts. I only did one week of it in this planner, or like in this month, but it was a good week. Um, I combined my mushroom stickers. These are the Funky Fungi from my own sticker shop. I combined them with these fun Create With Mandy goal setting quotes, or like goal quotes. And then I added in the black bullet points and the grid washi to really highlight the like black and white element. And I think that turned out cute. I'm gonna be a little bit more proactive about goal planning in April. But that's all I've got for the month of March here in my Plum Paper Daily. I will show you which ones are my favorites. So first of all, we've got this one, which is definitely up there on the list of favorites. I love this, but I think I love the one that I did with these stickers in my social media planner a little bit more. Um, other favorite is, I said it while I was showing you it. Where is it? Here we go. The orange black and white polka dot one. So I think I just really like the Paper Raven Co. ones. This one's also a contender for a favorite. I think I just really like the Paper Raven Co. stickers. As you've seen, if you've been around on the channel, I use them all the time. I use them so much. I'm almost done with the one sticker book. I have a second copy of it. And I'm like, how many spreads can I make with one sticker book? The answer is a lot more than you would think. Um, but those are kind of my favorites in this month. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of flip through of the planner. I'm going to try to do one for April. I don't know. Let me know if I should go back into February and show you what I did in February. Because as you can see, like, there's just like stuff I did not fill out in here. It's a lot of spreads I didn't share on social media. But that's what we've got. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content. And follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning. Mm -hmm.